Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about gene regulation and expression in eukaryotes. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. Genetic regulation is the process of turning genes on and off. So actually, all genes in all cells are not always on. Some genes are on, some are off. A tight regulation controls these on and off process. This is called genetic regulation. So there are some elements who regulate gene expression. These elements are known as regulatory molecules. Unlike prokaryotes, in eukaryotes only one gene is under the control of one regulatory system. So in eukaryotes, a single gene is under the control of a single promoter. And each gene gets expressed to generate its own mRNA, which encodes a single protein. But in prokaryotes, many genes might be under the control of a single promoter and generate a single mRNA which encodes multiple proteins. Suppose this gene A is under the control of a promoter. When RNA polymerase and certain transcription factors bind this promoter, this gene A gets expressed. In eukaryotes, there are four types of regulatory molecules such as activator, repressor, coactivator and co-repressor. Basically gene regulation in prokaryotes and eukaryotes is almost similar. So we will talk about them one by one. First is activator. So activator, activator binds this enhancer. Now enhancer physically conducts the promoter to affect transcriptional activation. We can see that enhancer is physically interacting with this promoter. So sometimes promoters are unable to strongly bind RNA polymerase and activator helps to promote the binding of RNA polymerase to the promoter. So, this is exactly same what we have seen in prokaryotes. Next is repressor. Repressor, repressor binds to the silencer and blocks the attachment of RNA polymerase to the promoter and prevents transcription. The function of silencer is equivalent to the operator found in prokaryotes. Otherwise, the concept is same. Next is coactivator. Coactivator binds to the activator. An activator-coactivator complex binds to the enhancer and activates gene. So, the function of Coactivator is equivalent to the inducer found in prokaryotes. Next is co-repressor. Along with repressor, this co-repressor prevents DNA transcription. Actually, co-repressor binds to the repressor and enhances the function of the repressor. And hence, RNA polymerase is not able to bind this promoter and transcription doesn't occur. Uh, so again this is exactly same what we have seen in prokaryotes. Activator and coactivator are considered to have positive control over gene expression since they increase gene expression. Repressor and co-repressor are considered to have negative control over gene expression since they decrease gene expression. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. If you want to get the PDF notes of this topic, 
प्लीज़ चेक द फर्स्ट पेंट कमेंट और द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स थैंक यू